All right. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Sad Gamer Boy podcast. I'm your host, Magic. And today we have two very special guests on the podcast today. First, we have your friendly neighborhood furry, X Factor. And then we also have a very, very special guest today. Semi charismatic villain turned insane caricature made from the mind of yours truly. I give you the quarantine demon. Who wants to hear about chairs? Hold on a minute. I've heard that before. Is that the pig from the one episode of the one show? The one that got the medicine up his ass? That's no. right. The pig from <laughs> Greg Heffley's, uh, um, Fan fiction, I think it was. Arguably the second best thing on your channel next to Dying Light the Haunted. <clears throat> Such a sussy little baka. Wow, I never knew God I needed to hear it. that. I can't, I, I <laughs> never I, knew I, I didn't. I didn't come here to hear the quarantine demon say sussy baka. I did not. <laughs> yeah, honestly. What is wrong, Volna? You're being very sussy. Oh my god. <laughs> Volna being sussy and dying like the hunted on camera? I think he god is an imposter. Alright, so, um, I got some questions. So, to start off this podcast, um... We have some questions from the fans of Dying Like the Hunted Season 1. And Ooh, the there's going to be like there's gonna be like two questions here. Uh, we have six entries, I believe. So we're going to we're going to be I'm going to be saying out these questions and we're going to be answering them. Uh, OK, so here's the first one. This is a question for the quarantine demon. Hi, I am a fan of the series. I am definitely not magic. Anyway, the series stated that the QD tortured Volna, but we were never told how it happened. Could you explain how you tortured Volna? Okay, I, I am so also very curious. Me. Don't fucking interrupt me or do I need to break your teeth? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, we brought we brought the little fucker in. And, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, we, of course we broke a few bones. I think we removed his ribs, a few organs, broke his teeth out basic shit, branded his tongue, seen if his asshole could boil an egg. We did a lot of stuff, but one of the most funny fucking things ever. I, I feel like this would get a good little laugh out of you two. So, I was just beating the shit out of him with a baseball <laughs> bat, and then and then his eye just went flying out. That bitch went everywhere. I heard him screaming. It was just a big old hoot, you know? You just got him screaming. His eye just flinging around. Could you do a reenactment of the scream? It was something like that. Mike clips and all? Like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, alright. Um. I made him be quiet when I put some beer in his mouth. It was. Wait, no, it wasn't beer, it was piss. <laughs> you pissed in I his was... mouth? No, it was his piss. He was been, he's been, so we put a catheter oh on God. his ass, so we made sure he didn't have to go to the bathroom. He shit you himself put, a lot. A catheter goes in the penis, you fucking idiot. Yeah, it went, we it went from, and the poop sucks from, for the poop. <coughs> Listen here, you little fucker. <laughs> Do you want to find out where a catheter goes? This is definitely podcast material. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the second question. Hi, this is for the entire cast. I'm a huge fan of the series. My question is, in the season finale, why was the quarantine demon's voice acting so bad? And why is Nate's voice inconsistent? Why does Vol Volna's voice change halfway through the series? And why does the voice actor of Nate voice 50% of the characters? All right, so that's. I more... can answer this one for all of so, us. So there's there's a many the questions. Person, the person who asked this is about to get his fucking head ripped off. Yeah, they're anonymous, so I can I couldn't really tell you. Oh no, I know, I know. I'll rip your head off, you furry fuck. 
Listen hey, here. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you he's, shut your damn mouth. You, he's not a furry. He's, he's, he's a scaly, right? Right? Am I getting that, that right? Am I being politically correct? Then I'll skin him like a, he, he, like a lizard. I don't... Okay, listen here. Listen here. I'll answer the question for you with a great answer. Do you I... like your asshole being inside of your body? Okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should answer. Um, why is the cutie his voice acting bad? Um, you answered this incorrectly. I'll make sure your penis is inverted. Because, well, correctly, sweet boy. Uh, That's right. The reason his voice acting was bad was uh, because uh, money, money, uh, money issue, fi financial, financial uh, struggle. Yes. Um, that's right, mate. Hey, me now. Uh, one, he's dead. Two, the first episode took place. <laughs> the first episode was uploaded in 2020. The next, the finale was in 2021. There would be a voice change. And well, I, I do totally forget. Yes, I I most certainly forgot. So I have a. What's funny is I went back, and Volna's voice is almost like a Middle Eastern accent. And he's supposed to yeah, be like a ninja. Think, you gave I him a Middle Eastern reason, accent. I think the reason I wanted to drop it is because, you know... Political correctness. It, <laughs> it did not sound very, uh... In nice. Inshallah, brother. Inshallah. I do not think this is going to go in any any uploaded format. Yeah. Oh, it will. Don't um, worry. I'll make sure. Alright, and so why is Nate's voice inconsistent? So, I have the answer for that. Nate, as a character, has different Dang. points. Yeah. So, in the flashbacks, his voice is very Wait. soft and calm hey. like me it's hey. because he's supposed to be younger and he's also supposed to hey. not be shut up i'm answering the question <laughs> i'm shut up corgi no. demon i'm answering a question about my character in my series mine you're mine i own you i made you up in my head my brain i made you up you are mine <laughs> But you never thought. Now do us all a favor. Physical. Be a good little quarantine demon and shut your mouth. Eat shit, fuck boy. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So it it just depends on the context. Like, um, that was the what I was going for was different context for character for the character himself. So in the end, you can hear him. He sounds exhausted. He sounds like he's just like dead he he sounds like like hell he does not sound good and that's because i never said this but do you guys remember in episode one he gets bitten by the night hunter correct the final scene of episode one he gets bitten well anybody notice that in episode two he's coughing up blood and then in the fi season finale, he starts hallucinating. Hmm. I, w I wonder if that has anything to do with that's that's going to come into play later. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it can't really uh, come into play later for Nate since you know he's, he's dead. He's, he's fucking. He's, he's dead. Damn. Now let me just he say. Oh, uh, what's this? What did you say? I have mailed a pipe bomb to your house. Oh no! You found my house. You found you found my address. Oh no. Um, but anyway, yes. Um, before we answer any more questions, let me just say, Nate was infected by the Night Hunter virus. He was bitten, and so he was a lot more stronger. He was more smarterer, and that's why he was able to take on that entire horde. Of those uh, nightmares in 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 episode three in the prison, that's why he was able to take them down. That's why he didn't immediately get uh, dead. So dead indeed. But 
one thing is he didn't get immediately um blown up when he got hit by the bomb because he had that night hunter strength <laughs> so instead he died what? of radiation poisoning i don't care left... what fucking eugenics you got it sounds and, and, and... it sounds quite irrational to think that someone's not not just in the blast radius of a nuclear warhead, but literally looking at it, just like, hmm, yes. No, he wasn't. This is a bomb. He, the thing is, he wasn't even looking at the bomb. He was looking outside at the RV, expecting you to be there, or not you, expecting Volna to be there. Yeah, well, I bet he was. I, I bet he was literally leaning on the bomb as well. Like, <laughs> the I, fucker died in less than a millisecond. Say sorry. Why would I do that? But yeah, so he doesn't die immediately to the blast, but he does die of radiation poisoning, and that's why he was able to leave one last audio tape saying goodbye. I'll show the dick pic, Nate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. You were asleep for a long time. Wait a minute. How did you get those? Let's just be clear. I have never sent any pictures of my penis to anyone. Let's let's just be clear here. And they definitely were not children. <laughs> For legal reasons, even though I'm a very very ne'er do wellish individual, uh, I do not condone pedophilia. Yes, let's just say that as a public service announcement. Pedophilia is disgusting, ugly. And, um, it's another name for me. I will personally um, come to your house. <laughs> you'll personally come? No. <laughs> okay, next question. Yes, yes, on to the next questions. Enough of the gay stuff, Ross. <laughs> come on, man. That's I, not I thought we were over this. <laughs> Alright. Hi, this is for the actor of the Quarantine Demon. Fuck you. I hope you die alone in a hole. You killed Volna, you bastard. Thank you. Technically, I didn't kill Volna. Yeah, technically. Technically. Technically, <laughs> technically Nate did. You know, the one, the one that I couldn't find a goddamn wrench. But, but... It's not my fault Volna died. It's Nate's fault. Blame Nate. <laughs> Hashtag exactly blame Nate. What you would say, isn't Hashtag it? blame Nate. He ruined everyone's <laughs> life. He even though Hash he was he hashtag cancel Nate Graham. Nate Nate is over party. Even <laughs> though he was C committedly insane from the night hunter virus and the grief of killing his partner slash brother also, uh, adopted brother not real brother they're not they're not related by blood also, so they're not related by no, blood so uh all those fan fictions keep coming keep coming also on a technicality nate set off a nuke mm -hmm. yeah yeah, Man. he's the bad guy of the story. I'm the hero. Yeah, uh, in season two, Quarantine Demon, uh, living in the mansion, he calls it his retirement. Yep. Mm -hmm. I live in a mansion. Yeah. Most of you motherfuckers who, who are watching this don't even live out of your parents' home. Yeah. All right. So this Looking is... Looking at you, motherfucker. This is the fourth question. Hello. I hate dying like the hunted, but I love dying like the onslaught. It's so much better than DLTH. Why is this? Um, because, no. no I think, I'm I, think I know... It's not better. It's not better. I'm not in it, bitch. But you are for one scene, and that's it. And you said, "Dang it!" Like it, the way you said "dang it" was the most, like generic stock "dang it" you could ever do. Dang it! Dang it! I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna say this as the actor and and you're the not character. An actor. You're a quarantine demon. You're, yeah, you're not an actor. You're a quarantine demon. 
I will gut both of you and turn your skin into a blanket. Don't, don't, now, uh, don't, don't, don't close character now, <laughs> sir, man. Sir, don't turn me into a blankie. <laughs> don't, don't turn the Volna of Night Hunter skin into a blanket. <laughs> Yo, let's talk about my art skills, but also Dying Light the hey, Onslaught is not as good merch, as Merch, merch, come on, come on. Oh, wait, can we get QD merch? I... Tell you no, what, Techland would te probably like. Tell you what, Techland would go see us and then plant a IED. What's Techland? Tell tell you What's tech land? tell you what. If when I get when I when my I get my next two paychecks after my Xbox Series X comes in, um, once I get my next two paychecks, what way to flex on the audience? Ha ha ha! I found a Series X. You. Fucking nerds! Just look on Amazon. There was one for like six hundred, and, and then and then it went and, and then it went to seven hundred oh, because great. I because because of uh because of shipping and I don't want somebody to like steal my package and I'm gonna be like off work for the next week, and so it's gonna be delivered in the next like in the time frame that I am like around, so it just makes it easier. Because then, when I hear the doorbell, I can pull it in before someone's like, Ooh, I want to steal a package. Ooh, look at me. Uh, pu another public PSA. If you steal packages... You're scum. You should you should be afraid eh, that it's not a pipe bomb bait. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> QD's sending me a pipe bomb, so... uh, <laughs> So, if you pick up my package thinking it's an Xbox Series X, you're going to be seriously mistaken, and it's going to be a pipe bomb that you're going to bring into your house, open it up, expecting a Series X to plug in next to in your gaming setup. It's just going to be a pipe bomb, and it's going to blow up half your house. <laughs> Alright, so, um, here's a... Uh... Here's the next one. But I want to talk about Dying Light the Onslaught. Let's just say the only reason it's good is because there's one Nate scene in it, and that's the only reason it's good. And if Land Lando Productions, if you're listening to me, if you don't put that fucking scene in the Onslaught, I'm unsubscribing from your channel. The only reason that I even work with you on that is because I want to put Nate all over Dying Light the Onslaught. I want to make it another Dying Light the Hunted. I am putting my brand all all over your channel, all over your series. That's gonna be mine. You added me as a co-writer, and I offered you took. That's that's your fault because now I'm gonna write so much of Dying Light the Hunted into the Dying Light the Onslaught. I'm going to destroy any type of script you had before about the story. The ending's gonna be my script, my story. It's gonna be all about me, <laughs> me, all me. You you've ruined. You're gone. You're done. You you have no idea. You have no idea what you've just done. You adding me as the was the worst mistake you could ever make. Um, I'm gonna run For legal this is a satire. Do not take it. <laughs> <laughs> Land of Productions, I'm kidding, man. Please put the seed in. I'm begging you. Oh, you made me do. Off. You made me on. do the lines. Please tell me you put the seed in, God. Please oh, tell me you put it in. As production as, actor availability. As the quarantine demon, I have another question for the director. When am I getting paid? You don't know that you're in a movie. You're not getting paid. You're doing it for Wait. free. <laughs> this this isn't this isn't a employee ship. This is slavery. <laughs> well, but that there, little there chuckle, famous. that little chuckle just made that. <laughs> Well, it would be a real shame if for some, for some reason... A pipe bomb I showed would... up in my mail. <laughs> or, a, or a certain 17-year-old's dick pic just I am not 17, I am... Your... A... We, oh, the wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 I need to... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, hang on. The entirety of the Federal Bureau of Investigation just went. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the fact that that sounds like you. Oh no! All right, I I'm putting a picture up on the on the screen right now for for the viewers. There is three images in my Discord right now. I do I dare open them? <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's take a look. What do we got here? My name is Cohen, not 
Panda. What? I don't get it. It's not a dick pic. What is this shit? You're supposed to be sending me a dick pic. <laughs> 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 oh, this is so bad out of context. Oh my god. <laughs> I can make another video, another out of context clip, kinda like that. Play it, play it, play it, play it, X-Factor, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it, play it. Play it, play it. No homo. But I'm going I like to, them. Exactly. I'm you going get one to more suggest this now, Magic. Do not show this in the recording, what I'm about to send you. Okay. <laughs> that was my real penis. <laughs> Wait a minute, that you're is... black? <laughs> <laughs> Why did it... Why? That was huge! <laughs> that was the size of that guy's thigh! <laughs> Out of context, uh, once again. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. On to the next one. Um, salutations. This is for Magic. When is Dying Like the Hunted Season 2 coming out? When you start paying me. I'm setting up a Patreon. No. Even better, I'm setting up a, and you can pay here. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, my uh, my brain kind of stopped for a minute. I'm so tired. I've been up since four o'clock. No joke. Maybe if you like, I went to bed. At maybe if you 12, got had... some bitches on your dick, maybe you'd be able to release dying light. The Hunt. Yeah, season uh, two. Women hit me up and then g give me s sex and men and men. Give me sex and I'll think about. I'll I'll Want slightly I'll slightly con I'll, I'll slightly consider. <laughs> I'm thinking about that picture you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> That's on recording now. I, I'm like recording my screen, which means I'm gonna have to edit and go through and through and see a big black cock when I'm editing. Uh, uh, anyway, yes, this is great podcast material. You know, like when you, when when you think about podcasts, you think about someone calmly speaking. And when we do podcasts, it's me screaming. About me sending him a dick pic. Was it your dick, my though? Totally so it doesn't count. Psychic powers tell you PSA, to, uh, the dick check he's, your direct P messages. P PSA, the dick he sent me was not his, so it does not count as pedophilia. It does not count as child pornography. Hello either. there. All right, hold up. I'm taking a look. Now we have <laughs> four. Um, what's this from Caristo? What the hell? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> is that me? Did you, did you take a picture of me? Hold up, I gotta save this. Me. <laughs> okay. Don't forget the dream dragon. Alright, for... Let's see what we got here. Don't like the Onslaught fanfics. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. That's how I want the series to go. Um, wait, wait, what? Wait, what is this? With the femboy and the, the Garant. The M1 Gar Garant. Oh, I didn't even see that. I'm talking about the the World War Z. I, that's what I want the series to be. But look what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's a it's a. Didn't how, mean how do we to know send that's a that image how, to you. <laughs> what's this? Don't look. Nothing. What, I didn't. I didn't see anything. Yeah, but, I mean, I got rid of that. Oh, it was too late. Uh, let's look at right. let's look at this loser. Anyway, that back looks to like a... back to the answer of the question. It comes out when it comes out. I'm working. I have a job now, so I can't do YouTube, huh? But yes, um, I'm working on the lore 
then I'm working on the script, and then I'm working on fucking uh, Death Agent Doge. Uh, 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 uh. I'm to smash my no home on this, but I like men. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, dude. Me too. <laughs> Dude, put your soundboard of just clips of me so I can talk to myself. If I could have sex with myself, I would. No. I want to have sex with Magic Wizard. Even Well, we're getting fucking copyrighted definitely because of that clip. Even No, we are. Even the name Magic Wizard is just sexy. It makes oh, my and I've just been sent to a medic a memetic doge agent. Yeah, memetic doge agent. That's what I got sent. Oh, here's the. Here, but look. All right, here's the last. Here, here's 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 the. Whose mother's talking? Put your put your mother on the mic. Don't. Put your, just cut this out of video. Put put your mother on the mic. Put your mother on the mic. Was that your was that was that your mom? X back. No. Was it was it uh quarantine demons mother? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Quarantine yes, demons, Bob. Your son's a terrorist. Anyway, here's the last question. Uh, actually, I'll wait. I'll wait till the quarantine demon gets here. Uh, There's no way they can copyright my soundboard because it's all under thirty seconds in bylaw. They cannot copyright something that's less than thirty seconds. Actually, you can. They do that now. Well, they're, then they're breaking the law. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't. I can't appeal. Can't do that. They can just decline. That's it. Oh yeah, it's lovely. It, it's lovely how when you appeal a copyright claim, it's like they don't. It's like YouTube is like, hmm, this doesn't seem fair. They're like, like, oh no, let's send it to the people who made the claim and to see if they'll say, yeah, maybe you're wrong. They're not. They're no. not. That's such a stupid system. All right, let's see how much money is in my bank. Hey guys, you want to see my? debit card let me show a picture of my debit card describe your feelings for me in credit card information <laughs> i have 145 dollars in my balance right now and a total balance of 800 that's kind of sad well yeah because i just bought a, a series x this will be cut out definitely because even though boston is a very generalized location it is best that i am a not he lives in the boston common guys <laughs> Do you even know what the Boston Common is? It's a park with a big lake in the middle. I played Fallout 4. Swan boats. Swan boats. And one of my favorite YouTubers, Ralph the Movie Maker, lived in Boston, and I got to see a big, nice look at the common because he was on fucking ice. <laughs> or, yeah, he was on a drug. He was on drugs, and he fucking went out and looked for Bigfoot. In the common, <laughs> in the Boston yeah, common. I literally, went, I literally went on like a duck tour today. We were like in this fucking boat that was actually a car, but still a boat. So yeah, I haven't gotten any of my new checks yet, so I'm going to spend 140, the rest, I'm going to spend the rest of my uh, checking account on pizza. Porn. Tomorrow. No, you can get that for free. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, you can get that for free. Why do people still pay for porn? I mean, I don't watch it anymore because, you know, I'm a... I'm a good Christian boy, but, um... Why... Okay, hang on, hang on. That's Cag, you just said that you're a good Christian boy. No homo, but I like men. Christians can be gay, okay, man? We're a not, more... in, not, in, not modern Christianity. <laughs> not modern Christianity, but... Old, but classic Christianity. There were so many homosexuals. Pre... <laughs> Pre New Testament. <laughs> Pre New Testament, there were so many gays, especially in Greece. Jesus fucks. Catholics. Nah, just just ask QD about how Jesus fucks. Oh uh, yeah, a uh, quarantine demon. Are you back? <laughs> nah, he's too busy being a mama's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser. It is now canon that he is a mama's boy. Oh my god. And like he has his like mother in a wheelchair, he's like a... in the background as he's. As he's torturing he's Nate a, and he's a, <laughs> he's a fucking mommy milker man. <laughs> yeah, that's how uh, that's how Nate was tortured. 
he got he's gay, so he just put like fifteen naked women in his cage, and that was his torture. <laughs> That's not canon, okay? We don't we don't know that Nate's gay now. Uh, Chase, on the other hand, yes, Chase that character he's gay. He's gay for Ranger, but he doesn't know it yet. Ranger doesn't know it yet. This is this is spoilers that I'm not putting into the podcast because it's a it's a spoiler. So it's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. But um, yeah. Uh, Hang on. How is your shit not copyrighted? It is. Like, you didn't know Don Like the Hundred was copyrighted. It doesn't show it. Mm. It depends episode on episode one at least. Episode one wasn't because I didn't use any other songs in it. Episode two, check. And then episode uh, episode two was taken. Episode three, episode four, all of them taken. Lice, licensed two by two and core. Yeah, fuckers. I love it. I love it when they say like, I. No, you know what I find funny. Hmm. You you linked it. You linked the song in the description. And they still did it to you. Well, that doesn't change anything. It doesn't change that I linked the song. They're still going to take it because in reality, this it's old copyright law, but they think that I'm basically make me, letting, giving make me, them... Make me a lawyer and I will literally, give, I will literally completely, like... They th what they do with copyright claiming... I will rip the foundation of the music label is industry. They, is they <laughs> do think not test me. They play it as if... I'm letting. Balls, I'm sorry. I had to beat a slave to death. Hold up. Yeah, it's uh, literally just capitalism. People, yeah, people are trying. They're thinking, oh, this guy's playing this song so that they can listen to, to it for free instead of buying for it. So, any money that's made. Dude, if YouTube was communist, I think things would be so, so much better. <laughs> Maybe. What the, f what the fuck did I just come back to? Uh, Shut we're, up, we're, QD. We're, we're talking about economic policies. We're talking about uh, copyright. Oh, so anyway, both of you have oh, yeah. read, anyway. read cyber communism theory, or I, or give me one second, the woman upstairs, or Dying Light Part Two. Not the trailer isn't copyrighted. That's interesting. Yeah, because uh, I didn't put any Part Three through. trailer is. Of, well, all the trailers are. Because I put yeah. songs in them. Because in, it's less than 10 minutes, they can't put ads on it. <laughs> yeah, of course they can't. But the thing is, is that it's basically a music video. So. Oh, no, you got you got hard copyrighted for part three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They... Okay, Pogger boys. Let's talk about... Uh, last question. Yo, this is for X Factor. Can you tell us if Nate and Volna had gay sex? Nate was very very angry about Volna's death. There must be a reason to this. They fucked. <laughs> they fucked. I'm telling you, they fucked. I know they fucked. My demon saw it. Uh. Um. Yeah. Anytime you'd see UMG or WMG on your YouTube page, you just know that they've, like, marked you for death. <laughs> marked you have death, ignored so. the question? Clearly, he is correct. Yes. Look. Look, the reason I ignored the question was, uh... You're a pussy. Let's leave it up to the fans. Leave it up to the fans. Exactly. Actually, that, horrible well, they exactly. did horrible that's that's a horrible idea. That's a horrible idea. That's a great idea. Most of, leave most it up of to the, the fans, fans are cute, my boys. Okay. <laughs> most of the fans... <laughs> most of the fans is just magic on alt accounts. <laughs> I wish. That would be so funny if, like, all of it was just alt accounts. I only have three alt accounts. Um, the second one was that, was that, um, well, actually, no, I only have two. Yo. Because the first one Yo. was a Nathaniel Bailey account. Something doesn't add up. That I was going to Gay use. Gay porn has too many, has way too many views. Some of y'all motherfuckers are lying. Uh, uh. <laughs> Someone's lying here, and I'm gonna find out who. <laughs> Sweating. Sweating. You, you Sweating. gay boy? <laughs> we gonna stuff a... We gonna stuff a cucumber up your ass, see what happens. I do find it so petty, though. Like... Like, moving past the, the gate. 
a relationship thing. I find it so petty that they'll they'll still copyright you even though you can't even make you couldn't even make money off of it if you wanted to because mm -hmm. of the requirements because i have 82 and then i have subscribers. and then i have to remember the reason they do this is they're not individually looking at these videos saying oh no wait they linked us so they they're putting credit where credit's due it's a bot they they use bots and that's their excuse it's bottage mm -hmm. that's their fucking excuse and they'll defend that shit in court because uh Again, I will defund the music label industry. Yeah. I will destroy it. Yeah, you should become a. Uh, you should become a lawyer. And... No, I couldn't because I would be instantly barred the moment they hear any anything I say outside of the courtroom. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that makes sense. Um, oh, also, also, um, fighting against corporations and against criminals isn't the profitable kind of lawyer you have to defend scumbags to get rich mm -hmm. yeah you do that's why oj simpson's lawyer got so much money anyway so chris chan am i right <laughs> chris chan his mom nothing you can't you can't say that on the youtubes <laughs> i'm gonna say it chris chan Anyway, Do you think Mrs. Claus is in that relationship consensually. Mrs. This is like Claus? Santa, like a hundred and thirty-eight, like two hundred, seven hundred and some shit. I have a feeling that Mrs. Claus is replaced every t ten years by a, a younger oh. woman. So you mean a, you mean a ten-year-old girl? <laughs> like, so Santa Claus and kidnaps a ten-year-old girl every Christmas and becomes the new Mrs. Claus. Oh no! It's like a it's like a sixteen-year-old girl who's like oh. really sad. Oh, she's like God. really sad. She's like I, I I can't get a I can't get a boyfriend. And she like puts on her wish list like her Christmas list. I want a really really nice boyfriend. Well, she gets like kidnapped by Santa. Like, ho ho ho. ho. And oh. like violently like <laughs> just beats the shit out of her and kidnaps her. Oh, my God. <laughs> is an abusive like abusive kidnapper <laughs> forces her Get to make my... the toys oh my god what no, if it's not Elmer? no what if she he doesn't just... even get to no, make no, no, no. toys no 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 what santa does is he kidnaps one child every year and make forces them to make mm -hmm. all the toys like it's not elves it's one child one no, no, child no, no. Santa, santa doesn't actually have elves to make the toys he just imports them from china because it's cheaper i was gonna say that as well it's chinese sweatshops <laughs> Santa's Chinese sweatshop. One moment. Can we just appreciate how we have the ability to say the worst things on the quickest of whims? Yeah. It's because we're men. Just. Just. It's because, yes. It's because All white people look the same. All black QD, people look the same. QD, what are you sending me? What is this? All right, guys. Time to, time to start the next intro segment. Sure, you it's may Nate's be verified dick on Twitter, dick. but are you verified in the eyes of God? No. Ancient Egypt. All right, so on to the next part of the um, podcast, part two. Not the not part two like Dial at the Hunter part two, but part two. We're moving on to Dial like the Hunted lore. Hold on, what the fuck, Dream Dragon? <laughs> Dream Dragon, what? I wear a mask for this hours smile at a time. For hours at a time. So I God. suck his dick. I so here I'm I going to you. basically, I'm going to send a link of the Dialogue the Hunted season two lore because that's what we're going to be doing for the second segment. We're going to be reading the the. Why do I hear? Why do I hear it playing in the background? Wait, I don't hear it. Hear what? Okay, so, uh, where do I, where do I send this? Here we go. Share. I was very frightened there, because I, I just started my Clash of Clans game. You should really join the Quarantine Demons clan in Clash of Clans. I just got it's sent under... 16 messages. It's just spamming <laughs> the same image of this guy from Devil May Cry T-posing. It's, All wait, right. you know what, what did you on. just say? What did you say? I think it's from Devil May Cry. I may be wrong. Well, you're very wrong. It's right. from the best video game ever, Dark Soul. Oh. Hey, Magic, guess what? 
Surprise channel plug. Oh my god, guys, subscribe to Volna Sill. <laughs> Cross, you have a you have a fucking bus? Okay. Fucker. So, so That's edited out. He shit. Alright, so let's let's I'm gonna start the introduction. Holy shit, again. I have five subscriber. <laughs> five subscriber. Alright, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let me do this. Okay, ready? Let's start the part two part of this stream. Welcome to the second part of the podcast, where the next part, where we're going to basically be reading a bit of the lore in uh, Dying Light the Hunted Season 2. So you guys get to get a little bit into the into my mind of where the uh, world works. So, um, every, everybody get that uh, set up and um, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll get started. Okay. Oh wait, am I supposed to be doing something? Mm -hmm. Shit. Um. So what you guys want to do? I sent you, both of you a link, uh, to a Google Doc. I want you guys to open it and then let me know when you have it open and we'll get started. On Why it. the fuck did you call it the Dirty Bomb? Dirty Bomb. It, it's just a bomb full of hentai. Sounds like something an American politician would call another American politician. A dirty bomb. <laughs> it's a dirty bomb, Madam President. My God. Um, the future of the Earth. Holy shit! Yes. Can yes. I, the quarantine demon, stream a video game? The no. Earth, capital T. Is is fucking the quarantine demon gonna plug his Twitch channel now? Is that what we're gonna see? Mm. Nah, it's already been plugged in the first. See, oh my fucking god, another stream Oh my yeah. god, you're such a mama's boy, fucking loser. Yeah. Anyway, we should get back to, uh, we should, we should move on. I'm not going to do the prologue. The prologue, I tried to make it like it was a, kind of like a Fallout intro, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, Fallout 3, New Vegas kind of idea. Um, war. War, war never, never changes. changes. Yeah, that's why the all good things come to an end. That's kind of my war never changes, because I'm, I'm copying Fallout. No, I'm not. That's that's not true. This is n in no way copying Fallout. But anyway, let's work on. I'm gonna work on the uh, cap the Captain's Legion, which is really just the Legion. Um, and then I'll let you do uh, the Children of the Goddess, and maybe QD can do the Remnants, uh, because he's the leader of that. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's, let's, let's just read some of this, um, see if I'm as good as a writer while hanging out with people, uh, because I wrote all this while I was, um, <laughs> and it's, it's going to be with the typos, so you have to read it with the typos, uh, so this is going to be, be a little bit of fun, we get to see how, uh, I basically was just sitting with people and writing this lore out, so we'll, uh, I'll get started. So first is... The Captain's Legion. The Legion are a, a group of sur survivors and tribals that became a community. Many of the communities, men and boys, are inducted into training to become soldiers for the community. Once trained, they are given the rank of Ranger. As Rangers of the Legion, they are instructed to patrol the streets of Old Town, which is now known as the Dead City. If a ranger has shown immense courage or is related to the leader, they will be promoted to the rank of sentinel. The sentinels are given more important and dangerous jobs, such as protecting the leaders and clearing out locations for safe zones. Few rangers ever succeed, but some are trained in the art of free running. This gives rangers the ability to freely roam the streets and buildings from the dead or enemies if they are overwhelmed. As a ranger, they are taught very basic combat techniques, such as striking, dodging, and kicking. As a sentinel, they are taught more advanced techniques, such as ground and stealth attacks, and uh, firearms training, and the combination of free running and combat. The leaders of the Legion are known as the Captain and the General. Two leaders are chosen as a precaution so that one person may not abuse their power. 
The captain and general together believe they will lead the world into prosperity as they clean the dead city of the infection one block at a time. One incident broke the Legion apart, however. The general and captain disagreed upon what action should be taken to expand the Legion. The general wished to use the old world guns and tech they had scavenged to take the city by force, while the captain believed that the Legion could take more a dic diplomatic route. <laughs> diplomatic. <laughs> dick. Dick. Diplom. Let me say that again. The captain believed that the Legion could take a more diplomatic route. Many soldiers agreed with the general, and many others agreed with the captain. The Legion was forced into two sides, the general's loyalists and the captain's rangers. Both sides were at each other's throats, and the general decided to take action. In the middle of the night, the general's loyalists broke into the Legion's army and started an all-out riot. The rangers arrived and tried to extinguish the situation, but the loyalists were too aggravated. The loyalists took the first shot and murdered five rangers in the riot. The rangers retaliated and killed five loyalists in turn. In the end, both groups had slaughtered one another, and the general and captain made the decision to break the legion in half. The captain's rangers became known as the rangers, and the general's loyalists became known as the black hand. There was bad blood between the groups ever since. And now, the next faction, the Knights of the New Age, one of my favorite factions in the series. Other than the Slayers, but I haven't gotten to them yet. I haven't written down their lore. But one thing you should know, Volnakoyo was one of the founders of the Slayers. Let me just say that there. He wasn't a part of it. He was one of the leaders. He was a martyr for their cause. But anyway, maybe in the next podcast episode, we'll go over... Uh, go over the slayers and i'll go over a little bit more of the lore and we'll also i want to go over um uh both nate and uh rangers uh, infection also the lab we'll go over that okay the knights of the new age the knights of the new age are a group of ratters i meant to say raiders but i said ratters and bandits that became organized enough to start a tribe they are led by a man only known as king King was the leader of a gang of raiders called the Roadheads. The Roadheads rode through the Badlands on buggies and ransacked every undefended settlement and community in the Badlands. The Roadheads moved up to the dead city and discovered the museum. The museum looked like a castle to the Roadheads, and they decided to make it their compound and renamed it the Castle. Later on, the Roadheads started a radio and led other bandits and raiders to the castle to either trade or join the gang. Now... Later on, there will be scene or parts in the show where Ra Ranger will listen to the Roadhead radio. So that'll be kind of cool. Anyway, back to the... The king later found books on the Knights of the Round Table. He liked the idea of heavily armored men raiding castles and fighting in war, so he decided to rename the group to the Knights. Eventually, the radio reached the children of the goddess, and the children joined the group. The children had the group renamed to the Knights of the New Age, and the name stuck. The king made up the decision to expand his banner in the dead city. Their request was simple, join them or die. If they, kings, were attacked or wronged, the punishment would be either be deaths in payment or half of their supplies. The goal was to take over the entirety of the dead city as it would create a perfect trade route through the wasteland of the Badlands and would eventually expand their wealth. The city would become a huge raider city known as the Kingdom. It would become a base of operations for one of the biggest raider clans in the wasteland. All right. X Factor, you could do uh, Children of the Goddess oh. and the Bomb. Oh, sorry. You scared me. <laughs> No problem. I totally didn't doze off there. I bet you didn't because it was so boring. <laughs> All right. Should I put a stupid voice for this? No, you can just Actually, do it I know whenever you want. I know what to do. <clears throat> All right. Let me just uh... <laughs> open it up. Quarantine Newman, you're still here, right? Barely, probably. I think his mic. Children of the goddess, 
The children of the goddess are a sacrilegious cult that have been around since the bombs had been dropped. Their religion is set on the sole belief that the lone goddess created the universe. Humanity were her children, and one man or woman would be named Prophet, and the goddess would speak to them. Before the bombs huge, goddess was displeased <laughs> with the sins of humanity. Bombs and huge. Thus, she wished for the world to be covered in fire, and for the children to start anew. That was my Dave and Attenborough. All right, do you want to do the bomb, or do you want me to do the bomb? Um, I'm not very good at long-winded voice reading, so you can read that. Okay. The children of the goddess had the motive, but they did not have the materials and technology. Fortunately, the demon gang did. The demons made a deal with the children that they'd get the nuclear warhead on the bridge overpass operational, and in return, the children of the goddess would give them a highly mutated version of the volatile that could be controlled. The children made good on their deal by giving the demons the Night Hunter. Once the demons were given the Night Hunter, they found two perfect test subjects to do their dirty work, Nate Grant and Volnikoyo. The Night Hunter fatally wounded Volnikoyo, but Nate Grant retaliated, and in anger killed the Night Hunter. The Night Hunter gave the last blow, however, by biting a chunk out of Nate's shoulder before falling off the Lookout Point Tower and falling to its death. With their Night Hunter dead, the demons had the children transform the barely alive Volnikoyo into a Night Hunter 2.0. The Night Hunter was stronger and more resilient. Volna's tortured mind made his animalistic instincts more relevant, making him the deadliest mutant in the quarantine zone. The children agreed to make the Night Hunter 2.0. However, the deal changed in which the demons now not only had to get the warhead active, but now they were the ones who would have to activate it. Eventually, a night before the bombs, the V Night Hunter and Nate Grant had their last stand on the Huron Dam. Brother against brother, they fought. Nate came up as the victor, and the second Night Hunter was defeated. Defeated in a misery, the exhausted Nate was manipulated by the demons to activate the warhead. The children's prophecy was complete, and they entered the new world as loyal as ever to their goddess. They eventually joined the knights and began research on a new version of the Night Hunter vir virus. The ver this version, the 3.0 Night Hunter, gave the Night Hunter the ability to change from human form to Night Hunter at will. This was given to the children's highest subjects. The Prophet and his guardians. Now, oh, is that him? How are you doing, me? They're saying stupid. Oh my god, yes. is oh, this is perfect. We have QD here. He can read the remnants lore. <laughs> I just had to beat the fuck out of a survivor. Damn, we wouldn't give up any of the goddamn information. Whew. What are we doing? Uh, we are open up the dialect like the Hunter season two lore and go down to remnants. That's what you're gonna read. Ooh, sexy. And do Ooh. it. Yeah. Hold on, Ooh, I gotta do one me... last sentence. I'm gonna have sex with Nate now. <laughs> oh, oh no! Please, please, no, no. <laughs> That's great. Great luck. Great. Who? Okay. Yeah, okay, before I talk about this, let's talk. Let's talk about the dirty bomb. We 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 already went over. There that. was a, we already there's went a misconception. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> there's a misconception that I said in season season one, I think, where I said it's a nuclear warhead type twice the size of one <coughs> drop on Hiroshima or Nagasaki. Whatever that one was called. Yeah. I was wrong. It was just a, a bomb that did stuff. I don't remember. Let's read this shit. Okay. Down Whew. to the remnants. And then... I already am there. Okay. After the bomb was detonated, the remnants of the demon gang scattered into fallout shelters and into the dam of her own. A helicopter containing the demon gang's inner circle crashed after the bomb was detonated. The leaders moved into an underground basement of the governor's... of the governor's and stayed there till the radiation levels were safe enough. 
The mansion became the Remnant's base of operations, and demon gang members moved into the mansion, making it into a fortress. Once again, welcome back to Fortress Kick-Ass, motherfuckers. <clears throat> the Remnants returned to their former glory when their leader, the Quarantine Demon, also known as Big Dick Leader, King of the F of her own, suck my dick, everyone else, returned. The Knights, stupid name, of the New Age, oh wait, it's those guys, requested an alliance with the Remnants. But, I humbly declined. The Remnants remained independent of the Knights and the Legion. The Remnants became a pacifistic faction, putting their heinous crimes behind them. Many remnants of the demon gang wishing to return to the raider life joined the Knights of the New Age, also known as a bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> Those still loyal to the quarantine demon remained, and I love all of you for it. And together they opened a plan to start a community at the mansion. And one day, take the Badlands from the raiders and bandits plaguing it. And eventually turn the Badlands into a cray? A cree? Crime. A crime family. Okay. I'm sexy. A crime syndicate once again. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so now let me go into the character lore. Um... I don't want to go over Nate's infection yet, but I do want to go over the lab and Ranger's immunity. So, um, there's a bit of lore. Uh, this is spoilers for the, ser the series. If you don't want spoilers, I recommend skipping to here. On Anyway, let's get on this. Ranger was born into a tribe of medical doctors and scientists. The tribe was very interested in the Rintusa virus and its mutations. The tribe found the Haran disease and control building and made it into a stronghold called the Lab. For two years, they studied and experimented on different variants of the Rintusa virus and began making dangerous mutants. The Lab created the mutants such as the Toad and the Bloater, and eventually, a child was born in the Lab. And one of the virus directors suggested experimenting with different forms of the virus on the newborn. The mother was enraged and was locked in her quarters when the other scientists agreed. The father was executed when he tried to resist. The lab experimented on the young child until he was a toddler. The experiments caused an unusual anomaly. The child was able to breathe in the air... Airborne, I spelled airborne wrong, but... The child was able to breathe in the airborne strain of the virus and seemed to be unaffected by bites from the infected. The expected result of the child was to make it into a more powerful variant of the screamer, but they were unsuccessful. Instead, they made a child immune to most strains of the infection. Frustrated with the lack of success, the director may had one more ace up his sleeve. A vial of the Night Hunter's blood taken from the old world. And let me just say right now, it's Volna's blood. That's right. It's Volna's blood. How did they get Volna's blood? Oh, yes. By the way, in a scene um, later on, basically when QD meets uh, Ranger, at one point he says, I, There's something in your eyes, boy. I've seen that fire before. It's almost as if. Volna. Nay? 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 Oh, it's Nay? Uh, but, yeah, so basically he sees Volna in Ranger's eyes because because <laughs> Volna's blood was put into Ranger's bloodstream. So basically he, 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 he sees, like, a bit of Volna's animalistic side in Ranger. But it's also one, one of the reasons that um he um also uh what's it called hallucinates volna but he also hallucinates um nate later on with volna and they become basically his conscience volna is his side that wishes for vengeance and 
wishes for action, to take action, to seek revenge. And Nate is more of a calm and collected, think about what you're doing. And they basically banter with one another on what these decisions that Ranger should make. And in reality, Ranger's just talking to himself because the hallucinations came from the Night Hunter blood that was injected into him as a toddler. But anyway, back to the um the the lore. The injection didn't seem to have any effect on the child, and the experiment was put on hold. One night the mother of the child escaped her quarters and opened the containment chambers of all the mutants in the lab. She opened the ventilation system and allowed the airborne virus to enter her lab. Oh. She opened the ventilation system and allowed the airborne virus to enter the lab, and it killed every scientist, including the mother. The lab was overrun with the infection and became one of the most dangerous dead zones in the dead city. The child sat there in his containment chamber for the next two months. The night hunter and his blood kept him fed and kept him alive. Eventually, the captain and his sentinels found the child and brought him to the ranger tower. The captain named the child Ranger, and his legacy began. Ranger is immune to all forms of the infection, bite-wise and airborne-wise. Ranger also has enhanced speed, resistant, and has almost unlimited endurance from, night from the Night Hunter blood. With these abilities, he is as powerful as a Night Hunter, and almost as powerful as the legend Nate Grant, the Lightbringer from the Old World. However, the Night Hunter blood, like Nate, gives him hallucinations, but does not decline his mental health and physical state. All right, and then for the last part, let me the go over fuck. Nate's infection. The light bringer. <laughs> the light bringer. That's what the children of the goddess called him, because he was the one who who lit lit the bomb. I, that's funny, but I'm only thinking of it is me. It is me, the light bringer. <laughs> If, if you know what video I'm talking I don't. All right. After the podcast. Yeah, I'll show we're, you we're almost done with the podcast. Um, So this is the last part. This is Nate's infection. After Nate was bitten by the Night Hunter, he was infected with a rare strain of the Rintessa virus, but he never knew it. This strain made him stronger and more resilient than a normal human. Combined with his years of combat experience after being a hitman, made him extremely dangerous. There was a major downside, however. His health, mental, and physical started to decline, and he began hallucinating. He didn't see it, but to others he looked feral. Eventually, the grief of losing his partner and the sickness from the Night Hunter bite overcame him, and he lost his sense of reason. This made it easy for the demons to manipulate him into setting off the warhead. Unfortunately, Nate did not die in the blast. His resilience from the Night Hunter bite caused him not to be immediately vaporized by the blast. Instead, he was slowly cooked by the radiation. Slowly dying, he left an audio log. The log contained ramblings and apologies. And after the log, Nate Grant died of radiation poisoning. And his journey came to an end. You know, we've had complaints from all over town. You're going to have to stop with the kicking. Oh, yeah? I think my scary, otherworldly, shadowy spirit friends might have something to say about that. All right, so on to... That's definitely getting copyright claimed. <laughs> um, we are on to the last part of the podcast where the quarantine demon would like to say a few words. Okay. So I have to tell y'all about my new drug. Coke is a carbonated soft drink manufactured by the Coca-Cola Company, originally marketed as a temper temperance drink and intended as a patent medicine. Wait a fucking second, what? W what? I think you talked about cocaine. No, Coca-Cola. I thought you were going to talk about Night Hunter Mist. Oh, yeah, my blunts? 
you, oh, I mean my cigars. Y'all want to purchase any of my uh, Night Hunter cigars? They're pretty pog. I mean, cool. How does one make a Night Hunter cigar? See, let me uh, just send an image to my boy uh, Nate here. He 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 knows this image fairly well. Uh, you see, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Okay? I, I have very fond memories of this of this image. Mm. <laughs> Every time I see it, it just just makes me cry. It's just it's just brilliant, you know. It's just just fucking brilliant. None of y'all understand. He hasn't sent yet. Do me a second, bitch. So. Every time I see this image, I just get so happy. So, of course, first you need a night hunter. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is some very good imagery made by the quarantine demon. See, uh, you first got to kill one of those tentacle motherfuckers. And then you skin them. You mean you skin a night hunter? Yes. And then, since Night Hunter blood causes hallucinations, I then roll my blunts with their dried out skin. Oh. It's filled with tobacco, PCP, LSD, and of course, some good old Mary Jane. Now, <laughs> we also need. <laughs> Let's not Hold forget up. that I... No, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> so, um, basically, uh, X-Factor just sent me the funniest fucking video. Here, let me send, send it. Let me send it to you. I'll send it, I'll send it, but I'm, I'm sending it somewhere else because, uh... It's... Dude, <laughs> Everyone needs to see it. <laughs> How do I save this? Oh, fuck me, <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> My brother was in Sandy Hook. Yikes! <laughs> I I forgot. I, I forgot die? for a moment. Did, did he die? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> He wasn't a student. Oh. <laughs> he was a t janitor. No. Praying on the children. No. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the shooter. Uh, oh. <laughs> Cut it out. Quarantine Demon's epic backstory. His brother was the Sandy Hook shooter. Guys, this guys, this is the QD's backstory here. Listen to Actually, this. This is what it is. I'm gonna do a bit of a. Uh... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just going to tell y'all, I did not serve in Iraq for you fuckers to be this disrespectful to me. Hey, hey Magic, Mag Mag want a real excuse to not put this in the video? <sighs> you want a real excuse? You want a real one? How about the excuse when QD sent me a picture of a black dick? <laughs> <laughs> the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting occurred on the 7th. 14, 2012, in Newtown, Connecticut. I can... When 20-year-old Adam Lanza shot and killed 26 people. Keep, ooh, I can get, make it better. Six to seven. Fucking hell. I I'm can... Fucking... Shut the fuck... <laughs> yeah, sorry my soul caught up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Continue. Your sister gets to work on my wood. Don't tell me to shut up, asshole. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, it's so good. Uh, continue. Yeah, continue. And then we'll finish the podcast with that. C continue. Continue about Sandy Hook. Tell sexy. us about the man who did a shooting. Before I play your worst nightmare. 
and I'll do it. I'll play it. If you play all the single furries, I'm gonna be very scared. No, no, no. I'm gonna it. No, yeah. that's something you want. <laughs> that is shit from like fucking nightmare. That is a demon. That's something you want. Long forgotten cross. Just a reminder. That's something hmm? you want. All the single furries is a demon long forgotten and should stay forgotten. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm to find I it. will never. I will never do that again. <laughs> oh, the single furries! Oh, oh, the single furries! I'm trying to find the video. Is the podcast over yet? <laughs> I need to go back to. Uh... Hold on, babe. I'm listening to FNAF parody music unironically. Wait, hold up. This is how we'll end the. Uh, this is how we'll end the podcast. Ready? My right. wife left me after I sat on my gun weird and blew my entire dick and balls off at Cracker Barrel. Boom, dick off, falls to the ground. I am pig. Yeah, I'm back. Pig is back. Right, no, What's anybody want to do any, you know, um, anybody you know how we're ending? No, you know we're ending the podcast, and this is how we're ending the podcast. <laughs> anybody want to, you know, send their, uh, you know, do Holy their... shit, I just dunked that right into the trash can. Anybody want to do their, uh, you know, give their socials out, like, any specific accounts you can find my me... porn hub is at big titty goth egg i already plugged my channel for no reason <laughs> wait a minute you're not her bro what <gasps> Adric. i remember from ye like no like two it's months not ago even years ago yeah like I still... two months ago i'd seen a video of hers that's definitely She's... not you <laughs> She is fairly enjoyable. Yeah. All right. She, yeah. You know, you know, she, let's, she, let's, she, let's talk a little bit about the specific categories real quick. I haven't watched in forever, but I want to talk about this. I enjoyed the role play aesthetic when there's an actual story involved. You understand? Okay. You understand right. me, it's my man? Good. You get what, you get what I'm talking about? All right. Where they actually All add right. story to make it believable, and it's not just. <laughs> It's not just Big taxi was my dick. favorite. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna Wait, is it like illegal to shoot porn in America? Oh, no wait, no wrong. No, no. It's like I think it's illegal in everywhere else. No, you can shoot porn in Canada. Oh. Okay, everybody, just say your socials and uh follow see through iPads on Twitch. Okay. And you? Volnasil? On YouTube, capital V, they have five subscribers, no content. They're gonna leech off of me. Also, like my said. Discord is your credit card no number, the secure the security number on the back, and the expiration date. Please give them to me, and the it will access <laughs> it will access my Discord. Balls. <laughs> and if you can send him a message, to no, see this, no, send wait, you you're gonna have to cut you're gonna have to cut that out because YouTube's a hypocrite and will say that's misleading or scamming content. Because they'll have ads that'll do that exact same shit, pretty much. But if you make a joke about it, if you make a joke about it, or even criticize YouTube for having those kind of ads, they'll be like... Rogel Dorn? Yes. It is I, Rogel Dorn. Anyway, yeah. Um, or so Adornable. Everybody, thank you for watching Call this podcast adore. episode, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Uh, yeah, we'll have some new guests. Tom, 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 now, Tom. I'm hoping to have a specific amount of people who are on the podcast, so maybe maybe uh, Volnasil is a permanent guest. Who knows? Maybe he's just a special guest this time. But Lando Productions... I'll be your permanent guest, baby. Lando Productions was a special guest. Um, he may be back on it some other time. But, um... False. Yes. We will, oh. we will see you in the next podcast episode. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, sexy. <laughs>